Where are we? We're at Twy Cross Zoo. <laughs> we'll do that again. Um, Hello. Hello. I love to explore here. We're at Twy Cross Zoo and we're off to go look at some. <laughs> I don't think they're hyenas, but I remember I made the mistake last time calling the spotted dogs hyenas and they're not the same thing. No, there's different types of hyenas, but I think they are a form, aren't they? I remember from our last time we came here, we got the lorikeets and they're in that like, big tent house in the oh, middle. Oh yeah! These are interesting. <laughs> That's the meerkat foot. Right there. Oh, and they got the red panda. Red chug one, but there's different ones, so that one's a limited edition. I like the chameleon. The little frogs. I wonder what we're going to see. Please stay on the path. Let bugs and butterflies enjoy their fun. Oh no, it's there. Is that way? Oh, so they've incorporated stuff into the area. Yeah. Oh gosh, this one there. Oh. Is it a lot? I don't know, but I'll let someone go inside. It's a happy end to the story. The butterfly was alive and it came back in. into the real world. Hey. It's so nice in there, honestly. It's it makes, hot. You feel like a Disney princess when they're all playing around you. You're like, oh. Fox, but no. No. No, see, I'm I'm going to have lunch with uh with a gr gruffalo? A gruffalo. Hey. So like the Gruffalo's tusks are terribly long and stuff like that. So I don't push it's in. Press it. oh, so if you've got anyone that's visually impaired, this is awesome. They're it might work, it might not, but we'll see. Maybe not. Just pretend so with the power of imagination. Wheelchair. Oh, 
wheelchair accessible as well. And pushchair, of course, everywhere. Dark ride section. Gruffalo, continue your journey. Snakes can't live in our climate. <laughs> They'd have to be in a reptile house. to discover the natural world. The owl used his super-sensitive hearing to listen out for mouse. Can you use your sense of touch to discover which parts of the Gruffalo mouse described to owl? A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Ugh. Where are you going to? 
too, little brown mouse. Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, Snake, but no. I'm having a feast with a... a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. going to be the snake house, is it? You're not going to want to go in. No. It's got to sit a little bit. Gruffalo. <laughs> What's a Gruffalo? Orange. His tongue is the guinea pigs were yeah. but no it's just goats i'll pop my head in but it's too well, much well no this is gonna if you don't like snakes they're behind glass <laughs> i can't am i being stupid there's a reflection on the window i can't see I thought it not in there at the moment <laughs> over that they camouflage well <laughs> what you didn't know a jamaican boa can grow up to 2.3 meters what you didn't know was a Jamaican boa can't grow in this country. So I put her with a snake. experience that's actually quite good I didn't know it was here and I wouldn't want to do that during the day though because there's too many uh, people about after all tradition with the children and getting them to remember it and it's quite a sensory experience but then obviously they're still relating it to the animals here as well so yeah Gruffalo goodies They got the snooze. Snooze. Which was on at Christmas. Oh, I like that one. I want to go to the family tree. I'm on a broom cookbook. Spin, baby, spin. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, baby. Bye bye. I thought I was carpet for it. Gradually making his way. Look at that bunny. It's pretty good. There's got to be one staring down here. No, but there's some down there.
Oh, you're kidding me. There's no more, there's no tapirs again. This is the third zoo we've been to, we haven't managed to see them. You've seen one of those? You've been very lucky. No. Dead. Look at our pigs. Do you not touch the window? I think that's a cozy thing. What, they're laid out? the windows. I'm just thinking, that's probably someone's initials. But it just looks like someone's got a big ego and they've gone, me. Then it looks funny. Oh, one's picking them all. Let's go in up there. Oh, you're. Have you told them the penguins? Should that have been cleaned out? Have a look down there. That's, uh, I don't know if that's their natural habitat. Do you like penguins? I do. I like it when their arms go and then their head shakes. I like at the these same penguins time. the most. And then when they jump, they jump with land on two feet. It's cute. Oh, Can you get in? It's like catwalk again, isn't it? Oh yeah. They're like slow. I can't explain it. She's got knobbly knees like the uh, gruffalo. What you can't get close to them? This looks a lot nicer than Yorkshire Wildlife Park. This has got a fear of giraffes. I don't think I've got the a sheer fear size. Of them. I think it's just I'm used to small animals. Why was it we take a step? If I go forward, I'll They all seem sedated. Walking horror film set. We've got some of these about where you can make a donation on your contactless. Oh, 
I still reckon I can get out of here. I suppose there's electricity about. There's yeah. electric fence yeah. all the way around the edges. Chicken strips and chips, and you're gonna have fish. Yeah. Did you enjoy your lunch? Yeah, nice. Chips are the same portion size, kids will get as well. Chips were fresh. Yeah, really hot. Yeah. Never get yeah, she literally was mesmerised by my bag. That window's cracked. That window's been shot out. That window's got metal in front of it as well. So we could get attacked by whatever is in here. It does seem like there's a lot of animals missing. <laughs> the otters are gone. Everything's gone. Should we go and see the lorikeets after? They've closed the sand pit. Why a big enclosure and it's roof. There's a lot of animals not on display because of bird flu, including flamingos and other things. Oh, 
Cheers. <laughs> Shell that sort of Raphael would have. One of them's got its head sticking out of the shell. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you know when we went to the shop they asked if we were an annual pass holder, do you reckon they do here? And if we are, they do better acting. Yeah. It's not about the size of the dog, it's the size of the fight in the dog, or in this case, the bird. It's a pigeon, folks. That's the biggest pigeon in the world. Well, he's the boss in here, the speckled pigeon. Oh no. Please don't. How do you interact with Yeah, she's coming. See? It's coming for me. Just go like that. <laughs> Trace. So we'll see you in the review. Bye. Bye. Bye.